going? Welcome back to another Adobe live stream. Um, we are here with Lizzie Darden. So exciting. My name's Arabella. Um, yeah, we're here with Lizzie and we're so excited for this two day um, live stream with her. Um, yeah, let us know where, in the, where you're watching from. We're here in San Francisco. Um, Lizzie's actually from Florida. So I we've got some Florida in the house. Hi. Um, hi, Colby. Ooh. Hi, Alberto. Hi, Michelle. Thank you for joining us. Awesome. Hi, Tim. Oh, we've got a couple of people coming in. Conos. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. So Florida, that's a long way. It was quite a long way. <laughs> yeah. When did you get in? Um, I got in yesterday. It's about a six hour flight. Ooh. I did have a baby in front of me. So Ooh, that's always tough. <laughs> Not out of sleeping, but it's okay. Aww. I'm pumped to be here. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're excited to have you. Um, and Thank we're excited you. to watch you do your process and everything. So awesome. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Marissa from Austin, from the Netherlands. Ooh. Um, we got someone from Pakistan. That's awesome. Oh, wow. All over. Ooh. Eric from Oakland. Hello, everyone. Thanks Hi. for joining us. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of fun stuff um, happening. So if we could take a look at the schedule, that would be incredible. Thank you, Paco. Um, yeah, so thank you to Voodoo Val for giving us the daily creative challenge. So make sure to watch the replay of that. Um, and then we've got Lizzie until about 1130. And then we've got Julian for the XD Daily Creative Challenge and Alex um, with Packaging Design Stream at noon. So make sure to stick around because we've got a lot of, got a lot of fun stuff going on. Um, but yeah, just want to remind you all um, that we are reviewing the Daily Creative Challenge in about an hour and a half. Um, so make sure that you are submitting to that. Um, and here we are. Let's see. And yeah, so make sure to submit to that. You can actually submit in the challenge tab above the chat. Um, because we'll be reviewing those. So, and then just as another reminder too, um, about half an hour from now, we do have our uh, chat and win as usual. So you'll get a chance to win 100 stickers from Sticker Mule. Um, so make sure that you are active in the chat. Um, yeah. Hello, Colby. Hello, Stephanie. Awesome. Thank you guys for joining us. So we are here with Lizzie. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, Lizzie is an awesome creative director and photographer. <laughs> um, I have her uh, Instagram pulled up here, so make sure to go follow her, uh, Lizzie underscore Darden. Um, she is amazing. I've been following <laughs> her for a really long time, so I'm really honored to that. be her host for this two-day stream. Um, <laughs> but she is all about puns, all about color, and just like really beautiful um, kind of photography that's just very eye-catching and really yeah. awesome. So we're excited to have her here. And yeah, we have a, a lot of editing techniques that we're gonna be you know, doing and um, going over. So yeah, let's see if you wanna introduce yourself and tell us a little bit more about you and your background. Yeah, sure. Um, hi guys, I'm really excited to be here. Um, Photoshop is my life. I feel like I live and breathe it. So <laughs> I'm really pumped <laughs> to be in this area, yeah. this space. Um, yeah, I went to school for graphic design, um, took a photography class, and that's where I kind of learned like a little bit of the intro to Photoshop. Mm -hmm. um, and then from there, I just kind of like fell in love with it and taught myself a lot through like a lot of YouTube tutorials, a lot of just like poking around in the app. Yeah, There's like yeah. so much stuff There's you so can much do. Out there. <laughs> yeah, it's just like the possibilities are endless in Photoshop. Yeah, so. absolutely. Yeah, um, I do work for brands. I post on Instagram. Um, yeah, little, your Instagram yeah. is kind of like, just like a whole feed of inspiration and I love it. Thank so, you, yeah. yeah. And I think it's really incredible that you kind of take a pun and then you create this image from it. And you also create all of your props and all of your set, yeah. you know, sets. Yeah. I feel so. like puns get a bad rap. Like <laughs> I've heard before that it's like the lowest form of comedy, but I personally think they're really fun. <laughs> and I just want everyone else to love them as much yeah, as I do. So absolutely. I try to give them a little artful twist. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Um, I'm going to go over to your website because it's so cute. Thank you. Um, take a life pun day at a time. I love that. Um, <laughs> amazing. And you've actually worked with Adobe before on a couple of things too, right? I have. When they did um, one of their updates, I think it was the 2019 Photoshop update, mm -hmm. I did a few little videos to be like, this is what's new, yeah. um, like the frame tool, um, oh, there we some go. of the distribution things. Yeah. yeah. It was super fun. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. That's incredible. Thanks. Well, that's, yeah, that's great. Well, 
make sure to go follow her and go check out her website because she's got a lot of fun things. Um, on top of that, she's also got a book as I do. well. <laughs> And it's kind of shape. older now. I yeah, like, oh, I know. No, I that photo. Like, oh. <laughs> but <laughs> but um, the puns remain like it's full of puns. And it's, yeah, yeah, I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> puns stand the test. Well, of time. make sure to go check it out. Um, she's got a lot of fun things, and you also do have a YouTube channel where I actually remember um, go looking at some of your tutorials. You like had some tutorials that you made personally. Yeah. Um, and I learned so much from them. So oh, yeah, I'm so super glad cool. To hear that. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Yeah, super cool. Thank I just kind of want to show a little bit more of your work. Um, you did. You, I love that you kind of do some theme stuff depending on like what time of the year it is too. Yes. Oh my god, my so, favorite is Halloween for sure. Yeah. But Christmas and like Christmas, holidays are holidays, always fun. Yes, I love this one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this Ron Swanson of Satan, <laughs> amazing. Yes. <laughs> and it's kind of crazy that you like not only create these worlds and stuff, but you use yourself. Too. Yeah. How does that work? Like it kind of started from necessity, to be honest. Just <laughs> from like I sometimes I get ideas like very last minute, and I'm yeah. like, I need to make this happen right now. So instead of like calling around, like finding a model, a model I'll just, or like, something, yeah, I'll do You're it. Like, I guess. I'll just do it. Yeah. I'm and also do you like just self time. Like you just self timer it. You shoot yourself or like yeah. Um, I did self timer for a while, and I would be like running back and forth to the yeah. camera. <laughs> but I have a remote shutter now. Yeah. I need to get it set up on tethering. That's like the next step. Yeah. I feel like yeah, yeah very behind absolutely. On that, but uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, but whatever works for you, right? Like everyone's yeah. process is different, and I it's mean, true. it's just amazing, like what you can do, you know. So very cool, love it. Um, yeah, do you want to let us know a little bit about what you're going to be working on today? And um, yeah. yeah, we will actually be doing the this first. last one. Oh yes. <laughs> Yes, so we are going to be working on that photo today, taking it from that. That's the raw that's image. That's the raw image. Yeah, so it's and actually six different photos all put together. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's so we're going to be pulling in that. Yeah, doing some color correction, adjustments, yeah. um, all that fun stuff. Compositing work and little fun things. Yeah. Awesome. I love it. Caffeine. Yes. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> yes, good morning. Have some good coffee. Good morning. Have some coffee, y'all. <laughs> yes. Aw. Thanks for joining us in. If you are new, we're here with Lizzie Darden. Um, she's going to be showing us a lot of fun editing techniques, um, you know, skin retouching, um, different tech, using different textures and, mm -hmm. and masking. So there's a lot of things that we're going to be doing for the next two days, and we're really excited. So make sure to stick around. Um, but yeah, we'll get started. OK, let's cool. do it. <laughs> All righty. Should I start off with like, this is OK. So I did pre-edit it because I just wanted to like, Make Get sure, yeah, yeah, see where I'm going. And so this was like a new a project that you created just for this, or what? Did for you this, have? yeah. Awesome. I, I had it in my mind for a while, and I've been wanting to do it. And I was like, wait, this kind of pulls in like a lot of different techniques. That yes, I feel like would yeah. be good. Yeah. So yeah, kind I shot of shows this. a little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. I shot this last week and then edited it a few days ago just to make sure everything would run yeah, smooth. So awesome. yeah, there's a lot of different stuff going on here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> we will go over all of that. Awesome. And what are your primary like tools or things that you shoot with um, as far as, you know, when you're photographing? Oh, actual equipment. I mm -hmm. have a Nikon. Okay. Um, recently upgraded to a good Nikon. I've nice. been using one of those like two hundred dollar ones, which yeah. is like not bad. Which not is to not knock bad. it. Yeah, I used yeah. it for years. I loved it. Yeah. I really feel like it's not really like the, About equipment, the equipment you use. It's kind of like yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. It's your you creativity. Do the work. <laughs> yeah. Composition. Yeah. yeah. And then editing obviously plays like a huge role. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And then I have um, a strobe light set. Yeah. And then, nice. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> um, question from Alberto How did yes. you find your style and your colors? Hmm. That's a good question. I'm always, I've always been drawn to bright colors. Um, I, I know, even your outfit is like giving me yeah. all the vibes right now. I yeah. <laughs> I had to wear like color today too. I know, yeah, I was we like, coordinated. I really need Lizzie. I need to match her level of coolness. <laughs> yeah, um, when I first started, like very brand new at photography, I just kind of was doing like an object on a bright color, just as like the easiest mm -hmm, thing to do. Mm -hmm. And I felt like I made it pop with mm -hmm. the bright color and then spiraling, kind of like snowballing from there, I just started adding in textures and like every time I get a little bit bored with a style, I try to yeah. add in a new element. Yeah. yeah, so it's kind of taking me a while to get to yeah. where I am today, but yeah. Yeah, when did you get started? Um, Probably about like five years ago now. Okay. 
Yeah, I did graphic design in college. I actually wanted to do illustration. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I was an Adobe Illustrator girl all yeah. the way. So I have my little <laughs> Wacom tablet oh, here. Wacom, Wacom. Yeah. Wacom. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, awesome. Yeah, and then, yeah. It's, it's so interesting how many, like, illustrators kind of jump to photography. It, like, changed mediums and Yeah, it's and definitely a too. big difference, but there's a lot of overlap mm -hmm. in a sense where, like, an illustration, you have an idea in your mind, you put it on the paper mm -hmm. or screen, whatever, it comes to life. That's yeah. kind of, like, how I view photography is, like, yeah. creating yeah. the world and then just make, making yeah. it happen with the Yeah, camera. absolutely. I th and I think that's, you know, some photography can be like you capture the real thing versus yes. what, what you're doing. Which I so like... admire because I can't do that. I don't <laughs> have an eye for that. <laughs> but you're creating these worlds out of like nothing. So I mean, it's really, it's, it's really yeah, cool. it's talented. Fun. So yeah. very admirable. Um, <laughs> Alberto you. says, yes, Team Nikon. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> awesome. Cool. All right, shall we get started? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. How long do you say like a shoot ends up taking you to like capture all these? Oh man, it can be a while since it is just me. I'm being like the model, the photographer, yeah. like stylist, um, and I'm running around and then sometimes different ideas pop up like, oh, I wanna add in this, mm -hmm. let me go. Mm -hmm. Like for this one, I was like, oh cute, coffee can be fun. And then I was like, wait, I need latte art. So yes. I spent some time yes. researching how to make latte art. Oh. Um, Did you actually it, learn how to make latte art too? Or? Okay, so I tried. <laughs> this The photo actually is gonna be, um, it's painted on in Photoshop okay. because it was not working out. It was out. not working out. Not like, the level, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it can usually, probably minimum about an hour. Sometimes it takes me all day and like if something yeah. isn't working out, yeah, yeah. but. I'm very stubborn and I keep at it you until keep it at happens. It until it happens, yeah, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. <laughs> awesome. So these are the first two images that I started with. Okay. And I am not personally a Lightroom girl. I use okay. um, Camera Raw. Camera Raw. Oh, okay. I don't know if anyone else Love that. uses okay. that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Lightroom there's... is on my list to learn. Yeah, it's definitely For sure. one of those things. I, I definitely wasn't like into Lightroom, I think, when I first started either. Yeah. I was going to uh, same thing, camera raw. Camera raw, yeah. But then eventually I think I just realized like it, it's easier to apply the same edits That's in Lightroom. That's what I've heard. And yeah, so then, you need to do that. Yeah, so then it just kind of became easy. But I mean, you can still apply the same settings on That's what, yeah, too. from my friends who use Lightroom, it seems like about the same. I think Lightroom, yeah, it's definitely a little cleaner, streamlined. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Ooh, Taylor so. says, I use Camera Raw too. <laughs> oh, yay, okay, good. <laughs> yeah, no, there's definitely people who, you you know, go back and forth. I think yeah, it just depends yeah. on what works for you and <laughs> yeah. you know, your process. Oh, oh yeah. yay, so oh, many yeah, Camera so Raw people. people. Okay, Michelle good, I feel very raw. validated right now, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Simon uses Camera Raw, awesome, yes, you guys. awesome. V validation, <laughs> right there. Yes. <laughs> so these are the first two I have, um, if you notice, Mm -hmm. In this, in the big, like the actual thing, um, there is more tile. Um, that was just, I didn't have enough tile on my background, so I'll just make it work and I yeah, yeah. just, did I you have my- Did you do that tile yourself? Yes, it's a uh, peel and stick. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that must be so much lighter then, right, too? Oh yeah, I tile. use, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh. Um, and it's on like a little MDF board, which okay. I use sometimes to like, paint if yeah, I'm gonna do yeah. messy surfaces uh -huh. or if I'm gonna stand on it because um, <laughs> the paper just gets scuffed so easily. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I just set up the camera on a tripod, scooted nice. it over a little bit, shot that one. And just shot that one. And then I also, I like to shoot with a white card um, in one of my shots. Mm -hmm. Like this isn't really a technical white card, it's just a folded up piece of paper. Yeah. <laughs> but just something <laughs> it for just white helps. balance. Yeah. yeah, so I just combined it nice. with the tile in this one, so. That's awesome. Oh, thank you, Tim. A great way to get started is to click on the tiny four squares on the right. You can access tons of presets. Yeah, so that way then you can apply whatever you know, oh, you're later. doing. Yeah, or oh. um, for camera, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, cool. I like to go in and do the um, white balance selector and then pop that on in. Sometimes it's not gonna be super accurate like right off the bat yeah, so I like to fiddle it, with it yeah a it bit. kind of like uh, leans toward green which if you're doing a lot of skin tone you mm -hmm. want to bring that back up to magenta and mm -hmm. then I add in a little warmth I don't really like to go past like um, 
67,000 or 6,700 <laughs> temperature. Um, it starts to get a little hot that way. Yeah. Um, and then the next thing that I always do is the lens correction. Yes. Yes. Um, remove chromatic aberration, mm -hmm. enable profile. You can, it didn't make a huge difference there, but a lot of times with faces, it the lens will distort yeah. it and make it, yeah, like very bubbly. Yeah, and so. it'll help like with any vignetting too, like around the image. Sometimes yeah. it's like dark around the edges, so it just yeah. helps to kind of. And it get, yeah, yeah, it gives you a little extra little room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Michelle says, oh yes, the good old gray card. Yep. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I love that you just, I mean, like, see, you don't even have to get a gray card. You can just get a little white. Yeah, like, you too. can buy it for sure, yeah. but yeah. And then sometimes if there's white in your image, like, I could use these white coffee cups, but I don't know if they're, like, for sure, yeah. like, legit white. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. All right. So then I like to pull up the blacks a lot. The navy tights here just got really, really dark on yeah. camera. Yeah. It's just like crazy how much different it'll look like, I don't know. When you pull it in from camera raw, there's just so much information still there that just like blows my mind yeah. that you can pull out all this color all and add details in stuff. And things. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's amazing. I know. So technically like if you were to shoot like a really dark photo, you know, you can like bring it up. Yeah, like you can bring it up like so much. Obviously that's a little washed out, <laughs> <Yeah>. but <laughs> there's so much light still in there. It's insane. I like to get somewhere around this area. Yeah, your work is very like bright and like, you know, I can see, I always see yeah. like the shadows like kind of go a little bit up the lighter Yeah, side, yeah, I like sure. to pull up the shadows a mm -hmm. lot for sure. Mm -hmm. And then I like to play around in this area. I think this is something they added in one of like the recent, the recent updates, updates for yeah. Camera Raw, the texture, which I love because um, especially I do a lot of posting on Instagram and it's such a tiny space. You have to like really, capture like what's there and like catch mm -hmm. attention so i yeah. feel like texture bringing that up a lot is a way to introduce that it's kind of like a bit of, like sharpening a little bit yeah yeah you can way. get a little crazy with it <laughs> yeah. it will yeah get a little crispy <laughs> but i like this level clarity sir hill has a question lizzie have oh, you yes. tried a color checker like x right Mm, I, have I don't that. know. Is, I, I don't, don't know think that I, I know what that, that is. is. <laughs> yeah, Sergio, what is X-ray? Yeah, let us know. Texture is the new clarity. Yes, yes. everyone. 2020, <laughs> texture is the new clarity. <laughs> awesome. Um, I like to pull up the vibrance a little bit. Saturation. And then I do like to sharpen it just a little more. Mm -hmm since we are gonna get a lot of compression in Instagram later. Yeah, Ew. that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, Instagram would run really slow if we... <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know? I mean, in a dream world, I know. it would work, but... <laughs> <laughs> totally. I also like to mess with the hue in here, which you can do in Photoshop too, but I like to just do everything that I can in here at first, all at once, yeah, and then I'll mess sense. with the hue a little more in Photoshop later. Mm -hmm. I like to slide the yellows over, especially with skin tone again. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of skin tone in this per se, but get it a little pinker. Yeah. Oh, Sergio says, um, it goes with your monitor calibration. I guess it's like a- That's right. Oh. I'm- That's oh, interesting. Oh, okay. He uses it all the time to nail color. Basically, that's right. That's, okay, I have to check that out. That sounds cool. Yeah, yeah. That sounds I don't super know. Oh helpful. Gosh, I don't remember the last time I calibrated my screen. I don't think that I've ever done. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, you, you know, it's totally fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and Tim says, ah, the color chart with the different swatches. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Okay. Albert has a question. When oh. do you when you do your shoots? Do you have an idea um, in mind? And if you do, do you like to sketch it or just go with the flow? I do. A lot of times the way that I envision a shoot is very specific. Like if I do this, I will only take like this angle. I don't really take like a lot of multiple angles because I see it that way and I want it to be that exactly way. how I yeah. see it. Yeah. But if I'm doing um, a client shoot like for a brand, I'll send them sketches first Got and it. try Got to it. get it as accurate to that mm -hmm. as I can mm -hmm. with the colors and everything just so they know yeah. what they're getting. And as far as like, I mean, ideas, do you, always kind of tend to start from like a pun or something that like can be like a pun that, that kind of starts, what starts the inspiration or? 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, you're fine. Um, yes, pretty much always a pun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or is it like an idea, like maybe like not necessarily like, is there ever a time where like you go from like a, imagining the set and then thinking of a pun later or? Oh, I see. Know? Some, mm, I don't know, very rarely. Yeah. I feel like I start off with the idea first. With the idea first. first, yeah. Yeah, and then um, kind of imagine the setting, like the world from there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Got it. So I forgot to open this extra tile with the other one, so I'm just adding that in oh, cool. now. Awesome. And then Taylor has a question. How often are you shooting your photos for your personal work? Um, do you do a bunch at once or as ideas come? I've been really into like batching. I think that's the term. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> Where like um, a Monday will be for like brainstorming. Yeah. The next day will be like making props. And then I try to shoot like towards Thursday or Friday, I'll try to shoot like three images for myself at once. Got just because everything's it. all set up, you know, it's yeah. a pain to like drag out that. Yeah, and especially when you're um, kind of your photos are this complicated as far as like, you know, you're building things, there's like things. Like yeah. little props, little miniature stuff, like that all takes time. I'm yeah, sure, totally. You know? And it like it takes I don't know, I think it takes like your brain like fifteen minutes or something to refocus on mm -hmm, tasks. Mm -hmm. So if you're like already creating something, you might as well create it all at once. Yeah, yeah. Time for batching. Sure. That that's makes what sense. It's okay, so I just brought this into here, copy mm -hmm. pasted. And then it matches up pretty well that's, here. That's really edge. spot on, actually. Yeah, I got kind of lucky with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never know when you're just moving it yeah, with that's your so hands. True. Yeah, things can go wrong. But that looks pretty okay. Nice. <laughs> go in and crop this. I like to start with a square crop, and then sometimes it doesn't always work out. And you typically always crop to square for like your Instagram and like other things that you're preferred. I try to, and I feel like a lot of brands that are posting on Instagram prefer that. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. And a lot of the times, like when I'm thinking of the sets, I like think of it in a square, mm -hmm. so that helps. Yeah, that <laughs> helps for sure. Yeah, I think this is the about awesome. where we had it. Yeah. Nice. Just to remind you guys, we have about six minutes until chat and win, so make sure you stay active in the chat. Um, let us know what your favorite pun is. I'd Ooh, love to yeah. Know. <laughs> Maybe that'll inspire something. Yes, I will credit you. I won't steal anything. <laughs> yeah. All right, so awesome. I went ahead and threw a mask on this extra guy, okay. and then I like to go in with my tablet and... Have you always worked with a tablet, or...? I have actually. I yeah. um, I don't have a mouse. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have like done stuff with the trackpad and a yeah. pinch, but um, yeah, I just find it easier. I have like more of a painting background, so yeah, it just like comes naturally. Yeah, that kind of movement. Yeah. And then I work backwards with the mask and like block out what I want in black mm -hmm. and then invert it. Mm -hmm. So there we okay. have that. Yeah. And we can touch that up later. Yeah, for sure. That looks really good, though. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's like the tile was there all along. I know. No idea. Who would have thought? <laughs> oh. Um, Geetha says, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Karina says, my favorite pun is Pizza My Heart, the name of a pizza place in Isla Vista, um, because my sister didn't get the pun until a year after we moved away. Oh, that's Aww. cute. <laughs> Piece of my heart. Cute. <laughs> All right. So pretty much the next step that I always do is I'm going to mask out the background, make sure okay. we're in the right layer. Um, a lot of my photos, I like to totally remove the paper background mm -hmm. just because, like, there's just so many different color inconsistencies, little variations. Yeah. I just like the cleaner look that comes when you when add you in wipe a it background. Out. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember. I think that was probably like one of the first things that I noticed about your work when I first came across your stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, she's got like this smooth background. Like, how does she do it? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is like definitely a beauty in shadows. Um, yeah. And sometimes for I like sure. to embrace them, but 
sometimes like for with this orange for example there's just like there's a lot of stuff going a on lot of stuff it can be on. distracting yeah, sure. yeah especially when like there's something i want people to focus on in the photo like the actual pun mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. yeah for sure take out any of that. <laughs> Tim says, um, here's my all-time favorite pun. What do you call an illustrator path that eats other paths? Hannibal Vector. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> I like that. Very dark. I like that. <laughs> Very dark. <laughs> oh, Chandra says, love seeing you work in camera raw. I've stuck with Lightroom since I've gotten started, but always wondered about camera raw. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're very similar. Um, does Lightroom have the texture? option that little yes, drop down that does. oh okay yeah, well, maybe yeah. i should hop over there yeah <laughs> they do have that texture option they have a lot of things um and they also have um this thing called like selective like edits where you can kind of go go with the brush and just select what you want to be changed and like make edits just in that oh, little part yeah which is kind of cool i do a lot um, of that in photoshop with masking mm -hmm, but that yeah mm -hmm. i like that kind of like yeah, thinking about for it sure. Ooh, this is fun. How about that And that's just like the mask. Yes, that is the mask. And I always like to, I'm like super perfectionist about masks. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I like to go in later and like take my brush tool at about usually like 20% mm -hmm, hardness. Mm -hmm and kind of like smooth out those smooth lines. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's very tedious and time consuming and like I could spend all day on it, yeah. but I think it makes a big difference. A lot of times with Magic Wand, like Magic Wand has gotten a lot. It's a lot come a better. long way. Yeah, yeah, it has come a long way, for <laughs> yeah. sure. Yeah, but you can still get those little uh, pixely lines mm -hmm. sometimes. So mm -hmm. I just like to Yeah, how do you end up, out. like do you, are you using any smoothing for like the edges or are you just kind of doing it later and with Kind of what you're talking about. I did, yeah. So just now I did pop into the um, select. Oh well, can't do it there. Uh, the select drop down and do select modify. Mask, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I smoothed it about like five pixels yeah, from there. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Tim says you can smooth out lines in the select and mask tool. There's a slider for that. Oh, cool. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Tim. Always giving the best. Thank you, best Tim. tips. Yeah, he's one of our awesome moderators. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so I just popped in. I wanted it to be a little more tomato red, um, but I didn't have that color paper. So I popped that in with just the rectangle tool. Mm -hmm. um, and then we will fix this guy. Yeah, yeah. And the brackets is like the best oh my God, shortcut yeah. for that, yeah. That's definitely one of the best, that. for sure. Oh, I'm on. <laughs> Hello, I need, <laughs> I need the copy. I hate but... when that happens, like, yeah. when you're, like, think you're doing a certain edit and you're on the wrong lane. You're yeah. like, what's happening? <laughs> Luckily, for sure. I was drawing there, but nothing's going to end up there, so we won't even worry about that. <laughs> oh, Lanny says, this is such a fun picture to be editing. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I don't even know. Did I um, go over the pun? Did I say Maybe what I not, but if for I anyone did. who's just joining us, she is working on this. Well, all of her work is pun related, which yes. is super fun. Um, but yeah, tell us about this this pun here and what started. Yes, yeah, so this what is caffeine, like calf, <laughs> the part of your leg muscle. Um, <laughs> I like to do a lot of like body part puns. Cause I, feel yeah. like, I like to incorporate like fashion with them and that's yes. just such an easy yes. way to do that. Like these tights, target tights. <laughs> but they're super fun. Um, I love yeah. that one photo of it was like the nail filing. Um, oh, with the mini yes, files. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. I love that one. I, That's so fun. Yeah, I cut those out on my Cricut, like little tiny oh gosh, files. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Cricut's like the best, actually. Like, the, oh yeah, create so much fun stuff with that. For sure. I don't know. Does anybody have a Cricut? It's so it's like so much fun to work with. Yeah, you can make a lot of like set pieces with them mm -hmm, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of fun stuff. Oh, welcome, Lainey. How cute. <laughs> Ooh. All right, we are ready for chat and win. So make sure you stay active in the chat. Let us know your favorite pun, um, and we'll be right back. Welcome back. 
Hello. Let us know your favorite pun. If you didn't already comment that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get a chance to win some stickers, you guys. <laughs> Say cheers for chat and win. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Hi, Robert. Hi, Jordan. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Verardo. Yes, we want stickers. <laughs> Lainey says she doesn't know what her favorite pun is. Oh, no. No, it's okay. Go to Lizzie's uh, Instagram and find out. <laughs> yeah, you can take one from there. Yeah. I will not mind. <laughs> I, there was this one, um, one of my friends, her Instagram bio is like, I like music and I like my puns intended. <laughs> oh. <So cute. laughs> No pun intended. Oh, congratulations, Sergio. You are the winner of our stickers uh, from Sticker Mule. So make sure to um, redeem those. You'll get a message on Behance. So thank you for, for winning. <laughs> and then if you didn't win, that's OK, um, because we do have a deal for 10 stickers for a dollar. Um, just head over to stickermule.com slash Adobe Live 20. Um, so everyone is a winner. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Well, we're right back into it. All right, so I went ahead and pulled this up. So in the background, in mm -hmm. the final piece, Ooh, is this okay. fun plaid. Um, I thought about doing it in Illustrator, but I actually have this dress, and I feel nice. like it's all about making it yeah. work, grabbing stuff from around the house. So love it. pull this in the camera. We're going to make this the background and do a little warping with it. Cool. And then you have all your settings already. Yeah, because I did pre-edit those already, um, but it's just, what I did was when I um, edited the initial, like the mm -hmm. file with the legs, I went ahead and saved that as a preset mm. and just named it. That's what I usually do with all of it. Oh, I'll name okay. it like caffeine. And then when I go in later and add in like the coffee cups and stuff. Yeah. Um, do you then, actually mind showing us a little bit how you do that? Just to oh, like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. let's come in here. I think that would be super useful for people. Yeah, so. Let's um, say you make these edits and then. Yeah, because a lot of times I'll be like shooting something like I shot the, the legs. Yeah. yeah, and then I'll come back later. Like I had the idea later for the plaid. Right. So I want to, um, I had this That's set so up still, but um, I wanted to, I wasn't editing it all at once. Mm -hmm, so I just wanted mm -hmm. to have that. So, so this is on a uh, camera raw, you guys. You can save your, your edits. Yeah. Um, and like have it, like make it as a preset. Yeah, yeah, which is kind of like Lightroom. Yeah, which is like presets. Lightroom essentially. It's just, you know, you don't see those. Yeah. The, you um, can just apply it as when you open something up. Yeah, so it's right over here on the right, this little mm -hmm. like hamburger menu. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I learned that from web class. I thought oh, it was really so cute. cute. Like, that's what it's I love called. That. Yeah. That's such a good name. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you need to save settings. Okay. I don't really mess with any of this because um, it's kind of everything is highlighted everything already. Be, yeah. yeah, just hit save. Oh, and cool. And I would go in. Yeah, so you have a couple and in there. And then you can just name just it. Name it. Yeah. I'll oh, just awesome. Do. And then there is a way if you go into like your files, like your desktop library, and mm -hmm. then Adobe, you can uh, go in and like delete them later if like on a different computer that I yeah. have, there's just a ton and a it gets ton of really them. messy. It's yeah, crazy. So to kind of clean it out <laughs> periodically. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So I'm go in here. Thanks for joining us, Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. For anyone who is new, we are here with Lizzie Darden. She is a creative director and photographer um, based out of Florida. Yes. Jacksonville, yes. Florida. So I'm popping it in here. Ooh, that's awesome. Yeah, and I kind of, I wanted it to be flat, but then it had like the little waves in it. And I was mm -hmm. like, let's just kind of go with that. Yeah. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Yeah. And then I think I went in and just flipped it. So these are a little bit less intense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That's nice. Thank you. And then I went into edit. Transform Warp. The Warp tool is fun. I like mm -hmm. to use the grid. I love that they added more grids now, too. Yes. That was something yeah, that you I can get and I was super like, detailed. <gasps> yes. Yeah. So cool. Oh, yeah. And then you can like, yeah, make it all wavy. Yeah, it. Yeah, it's fun. It's like That's a so little cool. like groovy 60s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Mad Men, re like re watching. So maybe this is a little bit influenced. It's a little inspired. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's very peggy. <laughs> Love it. 
Um, Gabriel's asking, which is your favorite, Camera Raw or Lightroom? Which we discovered. Is, camera yes, Raw. Yes, Camera Raw. <laughs> but I will learn Lightroom. That is mm -hmm. on my list. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to make a clipping mask so that it's only applied to this rectangle. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go in and... That's kind of fun. It's like Ooh, that buffalo is kind of fun. Plaid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very rustic. But I, when I do an overlay, I usually do soft light soft or overlay. Light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are my favorites. Soft lights. Nice. Bring it down a little so it's not super distracting. That's already looking super cool, though. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, since it is the background, it's not going to be as, I don't want it to be as detailed as the rest of the picture. Mm -hmm. I want it to have a little bit of depth. Yeah. So I'm going to go into filter and blur gallery. I'm going to do field blur. Oh, I don't think I've ever used that one. <laughs> That's fine. I usually use this one or Gaussian. Oh, Gaussian yeah, yeah, yeah. Gaussian. yeah. Yeah, that one's definitely. <laughs> um. <laughs> Hi, Adobe Life. <laughs> How cute. <laughs> Super fun. Just a little bit of a blur, yeah. maybe like three pixels. A tiny bit. Yeah. All right. Sweet. So mm -hmm. from there, we have our background like mm -hmm. for the most part taken care of. Um, I'm gonna go in and the next thing that I like to do like just for any photo is kind of just touch up everything with um, like the stamp tool and the clone tool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, just like little imperfections. Yeah, a little cleaning up. Yeah. Yeah. I do like the healing brush tool also. I feel like that is one of the other things that's come a long way. Mm -hmm. um, but in cases like this, where there's like just so many different textures going on, right. sometimes it pulls in from the wrong areas. It thinks mm -hmm. you want something else, but I know what I want. So yeah, you're like, I, I know what I want. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna go in with the stamp tool, the clone stamp tool, and I yeah. have it on. Um, I think the default is probably 100% and at a hard, like a harsh edge. Mm -hmm. So I just do 0% hardness, get like a soft, fluffy brush, and about like 60% opacity. Oh uh, yeah. Um, and that helps you kind of just like clean it up. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, just a little bit here. I know here. it's crazy how much like. Um, kind of like lit and like random stuff, like dust that yeah. like the camera captures. Yeah, I know. You can and think you, you, you caught it, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> and then when you're editing and you're zooming super into right. it, you're like, oh, shoulda, shoulda. <laughs> shoulda rolled a little brush yeah. over that. But that's yeah. okay, that's what Photoshop okay. that's is what, for. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so just touch up the Yeah, eyes. that's awesome. I think that the healing brush will work on the tiles. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. So that'll go a little faster. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. The little deets. Yeah, it's the little things that mm -hmm. all add up. And how would you, how long would you say, like, your editing process takes? Oof, I feel like editing can be longer than shooting for mm -hmm. sure. Um, probably a good, like, three or four hours per mm -hmm. picture. Per picture, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Gifts are like a whole nother oh my gosh. beast. Those are insane. <laughs> yes. Uh, but like they're, they're so fun. They are really fun. And they, and they like, look so They look good. so good. And yeah. like when you come across them on Instagram, you're just like, oh my God, this is yeah. so fun. Yeah, and some ideas just work better as mm -hmm. a gift. Like it doesn't yeah. translate as well as a still. Yeah. Do you ever have that happen where you're shooting and then like all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, this would be so much better as a GIF? Yeah. <laughs> do you do it? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> I have like, I try to limit it. Like, yeah. I, yeah, I used to go crazy and have like, gifts with, I make them in Photoshop, so it would be like 100 yeah. layers, you know, like inching oh along. Gosh. But I like to do like little, just fun kind of like yeah. Harry Potter ones where it just mm -hmm. moves a little bit, yeah. you know. Yeah, a little kind of almost like a boomerang, but not. Yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smaller movements for sure. Yes, that Otherwise, is key. Otherwise, I think you'd go crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just fix this little tile here. There we go. Super fun. Mm -hmm. Tiles peeling up. All right, and then another thing that I like to do mm -hmm. is the filter liquify tool. Liquify is the best. 
So since I hot glued <laughs> these cups oh, yeah. onto the tights, and they are how did, decently how did heavy. Stay? Yeah, I'm very surprised. Yeah, it's a lot of hot glue. I couldn't <laughs> have it with the liquid as well. That's why we're gonna Photoshop right. it in, because that was just too much weight for these yeah. little tights to handle. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but hot glue is like the craft hero. It like it does anything wow. pretty much. That's yeah, really, that's impressive. Yeah, it peels off fabric for the most part too. Huh. Sometimes it doesn't work as well. Oh, I have shit back. Yeah, so, that's crazy. Yeah, so it made a little bit of like. Oh, kind of like distorting because yeah, it like pulls. It pulled. The, yeah, mm -hmm. and I just want them to be straight. So I'm going to use that makes sense. this little, yeah, the. Looks like a little finger pushing it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And kind of and helps you, straighten it out a little bit. Yeah, you have to go like a light touch, mm -hmm. like be pretty gentle with it because it yeah. likes to move all your stuff around, but oh yeah, you can do a lot with it. Well, that's awesome. I like to use it a lot on um, my hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if I'm doing a, a self-portrait, I don't have a lot of volume, so I like to use the liquify tool to, to like, just, like bump it up. Do a little, oh. Yeah, just a little, oh. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. Hi, Mohammed. Hi, indoor design. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We're over here using the liquify tool. Straighten out these tights. Oh, Tim has a suggestion. Ooh. If you want to create straight yeah. lines with the liquify tool, I recommend the move to the left tool. Ooh. Oh. Where's that guy? Oh, push left. Oh, okay. I actually haven't tried that. I usually use this one. I've played a little bit with the bloat one. It's kind of fun. Oh. Interesting. That's fun. I have to try that out. Yeah, test it out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, that sounds cool. Just straighten this guy. Mm. Oh, Tim says it won't create those tell tail wavy artifacts. Oh, I see. Yeah, which sometimes can happen if you're sometimes, like. Sometimes, mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes mm -hmm. if you hold it down and drag it a little bit, like you're not being so pushy with it, you can get rid yeah. of that a little bit. Yeah. But it definitely, it takes a little bit of getting used to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Smart. There you go. There you go. It's a little bit. A little bit, little, yeah, little like, things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Estordo. Thanks for joining us. Oh yeah, that's so tough because the, the cup the is cup like right is there, there, so you don't want to like change yeah. that. One. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah. Yeah. Much better. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. So then we go into layer, new adjustment layer, selective color. Okay. Bring that up to the top. And this is how I do a lot of the color correction. Mm -hmm. um, I like to start off with the neutrals one okay. and pull out a little bit of cyan. Um, this helps a lot with people. Um, mm -hmm. If the shadows are getting too gray, it has that like kind of overcast. Um, mm -hmm. So this warms it up a little. Yeah. Same with the reds. If you pull down the cyan. Kind of like just brightens it up, warms it up, mm -hmm. makes it a little punchier. Yeah. There's, yeah, there's a lot of like color correction you can do with this. And are you applying the style over everything? Everything, yes, right now. Um, Got it. You eventually, look, you might. Yeah, so we can group these. And so it doesn't mess with the mm -hmm. background that mm -hmm. we've done mm -hmm. and throw a clipping mask on there. Yeah. Got it. Yes. That's awesome. Thank you for that reminder. Actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, I didn't even know. I was like, it's always interesting to see. Yeah. So the blues are still a little bit dark, even mm -hmm. though we kind of lightened them up in raw. So I want them mm -hmm. to be more like of a little teal. Yeah. yeah. So it's just a lot of sliding back and forth. Sometimes something really doesn't work. Mm -hmm. That's okay. You can just slide it back. Yeah. Yeah. Not a big deal. I feel like something that always helps me is like sliding it fully all the way to the right or to the left to yeah. see if it, if it does anything. Yeah, what direction you, know? you want to go, yeah, for, for sure. sure. Peter says, great job. <laughs> Tom <laughs> says, Lizzie is awesome. Oh, Aww. hi, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> go follow her on Instagram. 
for all the puns. Yes. All the things. <laughs> Pull the blacks down a little bit. Oh, yeah. And did you already own these? Maybe. this pair of, like, heels? I did, but I Aww. liked the way that they matched the tiles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then I like to brighten my whites from the selective color panel, too. Fun. Yeah, there's a lot of white in here, so. Cool. Just want to remind you all that we are reviewing um, the Daily Creative Challenges um, in about 45 minutes. So make sure to submit, um, if you need to watch the replay, um, Voodoo Bell um, gave the challenge. And today's challenge was to create a uh, space, ba uh, is it badge, badge, badge? Yeah, space explorer badge using bevel and emboss. So um, we'd love to see what you create. So make sure that you submit. Um, there is a challenge um, tab above the chat. So you can submit there and um, you'll, you know, get shown how you can uh, submit on Discord. So yeah, we'll be, those will be fun to look over. Yeah, I'm excited to yeah. see those. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Voodoo Val always gives like the really fun, like cool challenges that are like super interesting. And unique, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> space badger. Space <laughs> Just kidding, space badge, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but that would be a cool new challenge. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi Umar from Mauritania. I don't, I don't know if I actually know oh, where that is. I'm not sure either. <laughs> Welcome. Um, Abjo's asking, is this PC or Mac? This is Mac. Cool. Yes. Cool, cool. Yes. yes. So I'm still trying who's to. Who's Mac or who's players. PC? Love to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know that I've used uh, any Adobe products on a. PC before. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if I have either. Yeah. Hmm. Um, so I'm trying to bring the the tights to like a little bit of a bluer, mm -hmm. like not so dark navy. Mm -hmm. It's not really happening with hue and saturation either. So I'm going to color range select. Okay. And try to grab these guys. Ooh. So you're just yeah. clicking and it picks up the same kind of the colors that you're. Yeah, and then to cool. add in more of it, you can hold down shift mm. and then it'll add on to the selection that you already made. Nice. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Oh, yeah. Let's get those plants in there. Oh, Jordan says, I use both Mac and Windows. Tim looks oh. like he does too. Ambidextrous. Got a couple so. Mac, a couple PC. Hello, Rosemary. <laughs> there we go, that's what I wanted. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's super so, cool. This is in the hue saturation and this is with color eyes mm. checked off. Oh yeah, that's already like changing it. Yeah, a little bit of the like complimentary mm -hmm. color scheme. Mm -hmm. Just Ooh, Martinez in Africa. Wow, that's incredible. Oh, Thanks wow. for watching. All the yeah. Way <laughs> Welcome. I wonder what time it is there. Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> yeah, I'm on East Coast time, so I'm a little like, ooh, right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah everything's a little Everything's off. a little wonky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. I'm going to adjust these little squares right now. Mm-hmm. Sergio says, color range. Can we talk about it? <laughs> We sure can. Yeah. <laughs> so that is in the select menu. I don't think I've ever used color range. Yeah. It's super it fun because, to... yeah, you can get really specific with what colors you want because hue and saturation and selective color are great, you know, but um, eventually they only... you have to mask and like. Yeah, and they give step. you the options of like red, yellow, green, but like what if it's not like it's exactly not? Yeah. a red? True, There's so true. many like in the color spectrum. So, um, Let's see what, how to do this. I pop in a little new layer to mm -hmm. do it from, because um, otherwise it just selects what layer you're doing oh, it in, right. and a lot of yeah. times I have different Things layers going, on. going mm -hmm. on. Yeah, so it's in select. You go down to color range, and it's just an eyedropper. That's Super so cool. easy, yeah. Select, you can, um, I think option alt is minus, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I haven't really messed with the fuzziness before, but I'm sure that's just kind of like a smoothing, kind of like yeah. slept in mask. Okay. Um, yeah. That's such a cool tool. 
Yeah, it's super easy and um, I might have to test that out. <laughs> yeah, and you can use it for other stuff. Like you can, um, if I have it here, I can paint on like oh, a yeah. layer mm -hmm. here to do like a blending mode or something like that. Oh yeah. Yeah, so, That's so it's, cool. yeah, it's cool. It's a cool way to select stuff. There's so many ways. I know, so yeah, and things. everyone has their own little way. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Tamir uh, says hi from Israel. Very cool. Oh, hello. Oh, not sure how to use the fuzziness, Sergio. Mm, I think, to be honest, I left it at the default, the 40. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want to mess with it, um, you can play around with it. I don't, mm -hmm. yeah, you can easily undo that. So we're going to add in the coffee now. Okay. So these are separate images that I took. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> Holding That's... in the little coffee. So, open those up in camera. That's so fun. And because I shot these separately, I can use that mm -hmm. preset that we need. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Just grab that guy. <laughs> Love it. So many components. There are, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> I like to do everything that I can in real life, but sometimes that's yeah. just not practical. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could save so much time sometimes, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, for sure. You know? And mess. I really didn't want to spill coffee out of your Yeah. Mess, I always wondered, so. like, how, how messy, like, <laughs> you know, your shoots can get. Because you're they, working yeah, with food a lot, too. They so. get messy. I have, like... <laughs> Poured nacho cheese on myself. Oh my like, gosh. got in my hair. That one, like, um, <laughs> like ice cream, like the cold shoulder. Oh yeah, that was, yeah, like, that oh was yeah, ice cream dripping yes. down. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I try to minimize <laughs> that as much as possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you always start with like food, or were you doing something else? Because you kind of go back and forth between food and then like also these like little props and stuff too. So. Yeah. Um. I think I just kind of started with food because it was just like so accessible. I was just like kind of using mm -hmm. what I had around yeah. the kitchen. Yeah. Um. But I've started to try to make my own food. I'm like so interested in like the Japanese, um, like the fake food that they yeah. do over there. They make yes. it. Like yes. there's a whole museum and oh stuff. Gosh, I really want to go. Bucket yeah. list. Um, <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. So I like the idea of like being able to reuse it. Mm -hmm. And like mm -hmm. with food stuff like this, um, I try to still eat it. Like I'm trying not to like yeah, do anything too, too crazy yeah. with it. Yo, gross. <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, I like the idea of making it. Um, it's a little bit less, mm -hmm. feel a little less guilty about yeah, it. The yeah, wastefulness. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. yeah, so I just lassoed and selected that guy mm -hmm. and put it in here. So, because there's a lot of, the cups are going in like in tricky angles. Yeah. And you could spend a while, like I had the photo of just the cups, um, the empty cups on my phone, and I was trying to match it up with like holding it at different angles, but yeah, there's only hard. so far you can go with that. Yeah. So I like to use the perspective warp tool. Mm -hmm. We're gonna mm -hmm. bring down this opacity a little so bit so we can see. It a little see. Better. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And it looks like this is a little bit big. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's like pretty close, but. The perspective tool, and I like any chance to use the perspective tool. Mm -hmm. It's just fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, all the transform tools are so valuable. Yes, they are crazy. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna drag that over here. And now that I'm close, I'm seeing that we're definitely gonna have to go back into the tights and smooth that out, but <laughs> one thing at a time. <laughs> one thing at a time. Oh, yeah. It's already looking. Yeah. So you can really match it up pretty precisely. And I'm not going to worry about the checkers because I'm just going to use the yeah. inside of the cups. So as close as I can get to in there. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's super cool. And then I'm going to throw a mask on there and do the same thing as before. I'm gonna Just brush in the need. negative. Yeah, 
I don't know. I feel like everyone thinks about it differently. I think about yeah, it backwards. Yeah, because I think I I do the opposite of you. I like always like. You would go in and erase uh -huh, the orange. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, but that's also smart. I mean, like that's smart too. It's like it's because you just invert it and that's it. Yeah, you know? yeah, and it's an easy way to like mm -hmm. see it pretty quickly. Yeah. For sure. Everyone does it differently, and that's okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gonna re perspective that, pull it back a little bit. Oh, yeah. There we go, it's a little so better. Fun. Yeah, and it can get a little bit blown out and blurry, so you don't wanna pull it too hard. Mm -hmm. But luckily, this is like a pretty small part of the image, so it doesn't matter too, too much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There we go. It's coming together. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna start. I like to folder my things. Smart. Yeah, so I don't have to keep clicking around. So yeah, be... for sure. Which Stanley's asking no. if you're using a drawing pen. I am using one. Yes. <laughs> Just a little, little tablet. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the middle guy. And because I'm noticing that the coffee's looking a little bit orange, it's picking up that um, oh, from the, the background, background a little bit. Yeah. It doesn't look super appetizing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm gonna do heat saturation. And I'm gonna do it on the whole folder, the whole coffee folder, because mm -hmm. we are gonna add in the rest later. Got it, and that way it keeps it like within the same. Yeah. yeah. The edits will all be applied to that. Yeah. That's smart, for sure. Put on the saturation a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's looking very coffee-like. <laughs> <laughs> Probably throw another selective color on there. Mm -hmm. Super fun. Just to punch up the grays a little bit. Oh, thank you, Tim, for the suggestion. The free transform tool, command plus T, also can work with their perspective if you hold down um, command while moving the corner handles. Oh, Ooh. cool. Okay. Yeah, the transform tool has gotten a lot of stuff added to it. Yeah, for sure. A lot yeah. of new things. Yeah. Um, for sure, the warp tool with more grids, like that was like super helpful. Yes, um, yeah. You get super precise. Yeah, I love that. Mm-hmm. The thing that trips me up the most is like the, like now when you go to transform the size of it, you know, it kind of like stays the same. Oh yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. you don't have to hold down shift anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I'll, I'll still do it. And then yeah. it's like super Yeah, and then weird. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sergio says, um, does anyone else feel like a coffee right about now? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. It's 10.30 here, so we're, yeah, we've been up for a little while now, so. Yeah. <laughs> we had our coffee. <laughs> Bring in this guy. Don't want awesome. that anymore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was trying to see which ones I used where. Cause I know I had it like looking right. Oh, and so you <laughs> shot kind of like different ones so that they kind of would all be different. Yeah, so I had the, it's all the same cup, but I just kind of like, like tilted it yeah. varyingly a little mm -hmm, bit and then, mm -hmm. yeah, swirled the bubbles around a little bit. That's fun. Yeah. I have done one in the past, a little, I have glued on miniature beverages to my tights before, oh believe gosh. it or not. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe not that hard to believe. <laughs> but I did a little like a martini glass. Love and it. it was full, and that was, it was a little sloppy. <laughs> so, like, splashing out. Oh, so cute. <laughs> What's your, um, kind of, like, I guess, troubleshooting tips or things that, like, while you're, when you're shooting um, that you've learned? Oh, for, like, things that can go wrong on set? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Definitely have a little, like, kit handy. I like to have um, towels nearby. Yes. Um, <laughs> Little, Important. yeah, little sticky putty for like mm -hmm. anything that's like rolling around. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Gaffer's tape mm -hmm. is the best, for, especially for holding down paper and holding down like heavier stuff. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just like a lot of little tools. Mm -hmm. um, tweezers, 
help you move stuff. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. Awesome. I know. I always find it so interesting how, like, kind of photographers use, like, um, different tools that aren't necessarily, like, were meant for photography, but, like, work. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Fun. Yeah. Just getting that coffee in there. Oh, yeah. That looks awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Abdo says this live stream is sponsored by Hue and Saturation. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> my yeah top tool for sure. <laughs> Let's see. So we have one more coffee cup. Mm -hmm. It's not that guy. Yes, yeah, Sergio, fishing line for sure. Fishing line's a good tool. Fishing line, yes. Forgot that one. That Always good, good one. for suspending things in the air. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think this guy's the missing guy. Oh, cute. Yep. So fun. And what, oh, I see you, your hand with the clicker. <laughs> oh, yep, oh, I caught. <laughs> there it is. Oh my God, it must have been so like, you know, for a yeah. while, like holding the, you know, coffee cup. I mean, for this, like I try to get as out of frame as possible, but if it was something that I was not gonna live stream, I would probably be, you could see my face in there, like <laughs> sitting in PJs, like just yeah. not caring. My face would just be like a blink. Oh. But I wanted to try to get that out of frame. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. No one's judging. <laughs> and what, um, like, what's your go-to, like, lighting situation as far as, like, your work? Because you have, like, very um, brightly lit, um, you know. Right. And um, I'm sure that's, like, even more difficult when you're the modeling, too, like, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, especially lighting is hard with um, skin, too, and it, like, you can get washed out super easily, mm -hmm. especially me, I'm super pale. <laughs> um, but I like how strobe looks mm -hmm. um, on a lot of skin and a lot of textures. I feel like it's the closest to sunlight. Yeah. Um, so I usually have the strobe and I have a little umbrella on it um, pointing. Sometimes I have a fill light on the other side. Mm -hmm. A lot mm -hmm. of the stuff I shoot isn't as wide though, so I can get away with you just can a just stroke. Do one light. Yeah. Yeah, and then a big um, silver reflector. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and then close all the curtains in my house, so that's like the only the only source of light. Yeah, that makes sense. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Tim says, "Wow, you're naming your layers. What a role model." <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I had that drilled into me in school. Oh, in and school. Then, yeah, yeah and absolutely. Then an agency. That makes sense. When you're, yeah. yeah, when you're sharing files, you really want to make sure. Yeah, you want to be organized. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's hilarious because I feel like it seems like mostly designers and anyone who's, yeah, like sharing and passing off the yeah. um, files, like you definitely want to be organized. But like most photographers are just like layer, layer, layer 36, right. layer 70, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure me. Um, oh yeah, yeah, you're like that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, cause you know, I'm the only one looking at the images. Yeah, so I, I mean, mean I, I, if I know, you know. Yeah, <laughs> definitely don't technically but, have to. But you know, your layer naming, you know, goals yeah. right now. So. <laughs> Sometimes I want to go back in and like re edit stuff later. And oh, then, yeah. So then yeah. it would make sense. And then I'm like, old me, why much did easier. you do this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alberto says, layer naming 2020 hashtag. Yes. <laughs> That's funny. We're all going to name our layers this year, you guys. Yes. Yes. Goals. <laughs> Get in there. Oh my gosh, Tim says the next level would be to color code your layers. Oh no. Oh, I do do that you do a lot that? of oh my times. Gosh. That would be so much work, I feel like. Yeah, a lot of times, like, I would make this, like, everything on the tights layer blue, for instance. And oh my then God. Well, I mean, I guess I get I a look little, pretty. Yeah, I'm a Virgo too, so I don't know if that, that makes explains. sense. Yes, yes, it does. Yeah. You're very uh, precise and logical. And yeah. You, yeah, you like things to be perfect. Yes, absolutely. That's definitely a Virgo, for yes. sure. <laughs> Love it. So now. Wait, when's your birthday then? September 7th. Okay, cool. Yes, I'm yes. a Leo, so I'm, I'm your, oh, you're your, so six, close. your sister. Yeah. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. So funny. <laughs> 
So let's get into the foam art. This is on the completed layer. So just to Ooh. show you. Yeah, that you yeah. added that in. So I did try. <laughs> I did try. I gave it my shot. Aww. I boiled, I steamed some milk, but it was oat milk. Um, so I don't Ooh, know, maybe that was a factor. That's always hard. Yeah, I think yeah. oat milk's hard to make um, latte to art To make with. steam. Yeah, it was coming out yellow and like chunky and yeah. it was, it's not cute. It's not the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then also I didn't know if I did the latte art and then I shot it. If it would like be too long of amount of time, mm -hmm. I think it would get a little yeah, bloppy. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah, so, over time. Yeah, so we're just gonna Photoshop some latte art. So yeah. Make a new layer, make a new little folder. Awesome. Not water. <laughs> Badger? <laughs> yeah, <a> space Badger. <laughs> Badger, Lauder? <laughs> And Jordan says, I'm Leah too. Leo's Unite. Yay. Oh, fun. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> All right. So, D to bring up the black and white. Mm -hmm. That's another fun little shortcut. The D, you said? Yeah, if you're on, oh, if you're on so a like color swatch, it? yeah, and you hit Oh, D. to go back to the black and white. The yeah, so default. that helps especially for masking, just to get really quick in there. Like a lot of times it'll be, sometimes, I don't know, for me, it gets on a really dark gray and it's not black. Mm -hmm. And it's, I'm like, why is this not yeah. happening how I want it to? Um, the D is the quick fix. That's awesome. Uh, so we're gonna do white for the latte art. We're gonna draw some foam. Are you actually like doing it like by hand? Yes, oh my gosh. that's what we're gonna get into that's right crazy. now. crazy. Yeah, so I think it definitely helps with the tablet. Yeah, drawing and is. that you have an illustrated, like, design background but, too, because yeah. I would not be able to. <laughs> I like, always feel like I have something in my head and it looks cool in my head, yeah. but then when I go to draw it, it like looks like oh. kindergarten style. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> like, so I just give up and I, you know, go find a stock image or yeah. something. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the fun thing about this that I discovered when I was doing it the other day, is you don't have to be super precise with it because if uh -huh. you look at like actual latte art, it's, it's kind of fuzzy, kind of yeah, weird it's looking. kind of fuzzy. There's like <laughs> some pieces missing, and then um, I am gonna liquefy it oh, in a second, okay. which helps too. So I'm gonna do that one that's like the little, it's like they pour little oh, hearts yeah. and then drag through and it, then and it makes it. like a little yeah. fern. I think it's supposed to be a fern. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> It's so, it's fascinating when they do it. It's like. I know, like, I love when they like, um, I guess it must be Oops. some kind of printer when they do like your face on it or something. Oh my God, they have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't think anyone's doing that. How? End, yeah. But yeah or like they're cool. using, you know, like a little stick to like oh, do the little. Yeah, you know. yeah. Hi Fatima, welcome in. Um, thanks for joining us. We're here with Lizzie Darden. She is making this latte art out of yeah, scratch. Yeah, this must look weird if you're just yeah. joining. Yeah, that. I'm just like, yeah, no yeah. Photoshop. So she's got these teacups that she put on that she glued um, onto oh her tights, Pops. which is like, how do you even do that? So the coffee <laughs> wasn't there before, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> put that in. Um, but the pun is uh, caffeine, <laughs> which I love. <laughs> Oh, Arsalan says, great job. Lots of love from Pakistan. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is looking very like, what was that? What was that like drawing up? Like, um, pix paint? Paint, paint, paint. paint. Yeah, just oh paint. Gosh, paint. Yeah, Microsoft Paint. So, wow. <laughs> I promise, yeah, it, it's <laughs> gonna look better. You have to trust the process. I love that. I love the paint though. It was so much fun. Oh, I know. When you like um, draw the little abstract lines and then you do the bucket tool, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. like an easy way to kill a few hours when you're yeah. little. <laughs> Did you ever like you um, play like those games online where it was like um, I, I think it was called like ipaint.net or something like that, but it was no. like you you'd go into these like cool like um, drawing rooms and like they'd each have a theme. Uh -huh. So like one theme would be like animals, and then um, you'd get like. Uh, you'd get like an, an, an animal, right? Like the moderator would put an animal and then yeah. like everyone would have to draw and like if, oh. or someone would have to draw and like if people guessed it right, then you won. Yeah. And it was just like these crazy like, just, like, like drawing challenge. Like, yeah, chat room. That's like, cool. like It was just so crazy. And like. <laughs> I know, I didn't know about that. That's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know, it was kind of like a little paint game basically. Yeah, oh, that's so cute. Yeah. 
was so sometimes fun. Sometimes I miss the old days of the internet. I know. <laughs> but sometimes, no. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I remember, like, the even, like, the mine games, you know, like, or, like, the mine, what's that, like, um, oh, Minesweeper. Minesweeper. Yeah. And I never understood it. I didn't understand it for oh, a long time yeah. until later. I didn't know I was there like, was a strategy. Nope. I was just clicking and around it, yeah. and you get the little mm -hmm. frowny face. Yep. <laughs> Did anyone play Minesweeper? <laughs> Very important question. Let us know. <laughs> important question here. <laughs> so anytime I draw something um, in Photoshop, I like to put a little blur. A little, yeah, a slight blur, maybe like even point two in this case. Okay, this latte art is impressive. How did you, how? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now we're gonna liquefy this bad boy. So, I'm kind of like mimicking, like I watched a lot of latte art videos, and just That's like smart. the motion it's of research. them dragging the milk is kind of like liquefy. So I was like, wait, this kind of works out perfectly. So they draw all that and then they kind of go through like that. Yeah. Yeah, and it's hard to tell now with the um, grid on it, but it's making a little. It's kind of like dragging it in. Yeah. I'm just gonna make it a little <coughs> bit more organic, mm -hmm. like it's milk or something. Yeah. <laughs> like it's <Yeah>. milk. <laughs> like it's milk. <laughs> like it's, you know, but we're making it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fatima says, heart shape looks cute. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> yes. Aw. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> so from here. Yeah, I'm curious how you're going to do this. because. Yeah, okay. The perspective so, is what's... Exactly. So I could have <laughs> drawn it at the angle, but I feel like that's just, it's hard thinking about it that way. Yeah. So in this case, I'd rather just draw Do it flat, flat. Mm -hmm. and then with the same with the coffee, throw another perspective warp on there. So. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then you start messing with it. Yeah, just kind of dragging it around everywhere. That's oh, yeah. Yeah, you want there it to be go. a little flatter. It just takes a little maneuvering. Yeah. <laughs> Aw, Sergio says, gotta go. Thanks for all the tips and the stickers, too. I'll look out for it. Cheers. Aww. Oh, thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching, Sergio. <laughs> cool. And then I'm going to... Get that off the cup. Oh, so yeah. It's not floating on the cup. <laughs> <laughs> and then in addition to the Gaussian blur, I'm gonna add a little bit of noise, um, just because it's like such an obviously flat texture right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. And the rest of the photo has a little bit of- A little green. Yeah, some a little texture. Yeah, so. Yeah, for sure. But just a little bit. You can see how already it's getting a little bit mm -hmm. noticeable. Let's do like two. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just that. And then. Just a little bit of some. <laughs> top. And just want to remind you all, we do have the feedback, um, design feedback in about 15 minutes. So make sure that you submit your challenges. Um, you know, the challenge for today was to design a space badge, not badger. Um, so <laughs> using pebble and emboss. So make sure to submit your challenges, you guys, because we'll be reviewing those over on Discord in about 15 minutes. So mm -hmm. fun at times. Okay. So initially, when I was doing this the first time, I was like, technically, I could leave mm -hmm. it as that. Because from there, yeah. especially when you're looking at a small screen, it looks like Pretty, pretty convincing, <laughs> but I want to push it a little bit further. Okay. So I went in and I did soft light, and then that's a little bit too soft, but mm -hmm. what we're gonna do is... To just double it. Oh, double it, yeah, and yeah. then slightly skew it. Mm. And then skew this third one a little bit that way. Oh yeah. Yeah, just to give it a little bit more 
dimension. Make it feel like it's in there. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, a little, yeah. And you could do that with masking a little bit too, but this mm -hmm. is just a quick, easy little way to do that. Oh, Grand Frog says, too late to start the challenge, but it seems fun. We'll make sure to stick around because we have more challenges. Um, we do have another challenge tomorrow, so that will stream at 9 a.m. with Voodoo Bell. So never too late to do your challenges. And you can always um, do the challenge from today as well and still submit. And, you know, people will look at it and hopefully give feedback as well. So that's the great thing about um, these challenges. It's such a great opportunity to learn um, and just practice your skills in Photoshop yeah, and, you know. Fun. Yeah, I love that aspect about the Adobe Live. Ooh, making another one. Making some more, whipping up some lattes. <laughs> Who wants a latte? Who wants a latte, guys? <laughs> <laughs> We're making some right now. Yeah, <laughs> come and get it. <laughs> oh my God, can you imagine like a pun cafe? Like w with like, Ooh. All drink orders like that are puns. I love that. I will tell you, I will go into any restaurant that has a pun name. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or like, you know, in Bob's Burgers, the intro. Have you, have you seen that? I, I have seen yeah. Bob's Burgers. Actually, somebody commented earlier about a pun that's from Bob's Burgers. Oh, I but, oh, I missed yeah, that. Oh. I, I forget. I saw it, it like <laughs> went so fast. I, yeah, I always pause it on the intro and I like to read the names of the <laughs> stores they have. They're always so good. They're so funny. I love Bob's Burgers. So good. <laughs> I love Tina. Tina's great. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've been wanting to be her for Halloween for a while. Because oh, I have like that'd be so short cute. hair. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I have yet to do it. So hopefully this year. <laughs> oh my god, Tim. Uh, he says, wake me up before you Coco. <laughs> oh, Tim, do you want to sponsor this cafe? <laughs> <laughs> Albert just says, can you make a caramel latte to go? <laughs> yes. One hundred percent, you guys. That'll be this middle guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Love it. I'm getting crafty here. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Do another perspective warp. Oh yeah, Grand Floyd. Um, yep, I still get so so many comments, likes on an eight eight month old challenge on my Behance. It's so nice and always oh, wow. makes me miss my designing hobby time. Oh, we well should get back into it. <laughs> Everyone, you know, loves giving feedback and um, yeah, you can be a part of it and get some comments and stuff. Oh my gosh, Tim is just rocking it with all the puns. He's like, iced coffee, chilled to the bean. Oh my gosh, he's on a little he's roll. So good. I he's like on that. a roll. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that's looking good. Oh, thanks. I forgot to liquefy this guy, but we're just gonna liquefy it already. Yeah. Liquefy is literally such just like a versatile tool. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Good. Ooh. Mm -hmm. A little wavy. There you go. I'm gonna mask this one out a little so it's not on the bubbles. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think milk flits on top of bubbles. I could be wrong. Yeah. I'm lactose intolerant, so <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> maybe no. I'm not the expert on this. <laughs> there you go. Mm. That's so cute. Thank you. I love it. So many of my... Um, layers. I do name my layers, but they have typos, so maybe oh. <laughs> not totally. Maybe like it's not layer super helpful. Model. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. And I think for this one I ended up doing four instead of three just because the light source is coming in from I'm pointing the opposite way that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so this white's going to be a little bit brighter than this mm -hmm. guy since the light's coming down this way. Yeah. yeah. That's smart. It's like all these like little things to think about. Yeah, I feel like light is really like, especially when you're faking stuff in Photoshop, mm -hmm. you just have to keep that in mind yeah. for, yeah, believability. Mm -hmm. It's like it makes a huge difference in that. Yeah, absolutely. 
Yeah. We can draw another quick guy on that. Or... Mm -hmm. What else do we do? Oh, yeah. I guess you could always even copy the one of the ones from the top and then like reverse it. Like, oh yeah, we definitely could. Um, yeah, if you wanted to. Yeah, save a little time. I'll just do this guy quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tim, I'll open a charity coffee shop and I'll call it Random Acts of Grindness. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> He's just killing it. <laughs> Tim, are you sure you don't already have one of these? I know, one of these uh, pun open? cafes. Yeah, you sure? <laughs> I'll visit it for sure. <laughs> Super fun. So when you do your um, your photos, are you shooting this at home? How like what's what's your setup as far as? Yeah, I have a spare bedroom in my place that I have converted to <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> studio uh -huh. prop room. The prop room is like a little bit out of control. It's, yeah. it's, it's like contained I'm sure in the closet keep for the most part. All the part. stuff basically from your shoots, right? I do. So you never yeah. Know when you might need it. It's hard to part with like some of the things yeah. that you like spend hours making. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Absolutely. I like to keep it all for sure. Um, Always growing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome that you have like a separate room though to kind of help you do all the stuff. It'd be kind of hard to do it, you know, I don't oh. know in your <laughs> living room or like places. I have, you know. yeah, I definitely have done that when I um, started, so started and yeah, I had like those <laughs> little lights. They're probably like about that big and I shot everything on my dining room table. Oh my gosh, but, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. It's funny, you like, you just never know what goes mm -hmm. on behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Even yeah. if it looks like a big like campaign or something, yeah. sometimes yeah. it's in somebody's sometimes dining room. Sometimes it's really simple, <laughs> and sometimes it's really crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It also helps to have a door to that room so I can close it off. Yeah. It gets quite messy. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Tim's like, yeah, it's not much, but I try to make the roast of it. Oh my god, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> He's so good. <laughs> Tim's got all the all the things. Oh, well, these are perfect. I know, they're so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that looks so pretty. Thanks. Yeah, so it's definitely one of those things. If we were doing like a print piece or something, mm -hmm. we could probably make it a little bit cleaner and more believable. Yeah, but right. since it's yeah, since it's only gonna live on Instagram, I liked it. And then sometimes I'll just like save it from here and mm -hmm. airdrop it real fast and just like see if anything stands out. Got it, that's smart screen. actually. Yeah, yeah cause, just to like, cause it's different seeing it on your computer versus when it you're is. seeing it on your And you would phone. think that you'd be able to see it here, but mm -hmm. something about just like, I don't know, it's almost like the screen is too big here that you're like seeing everything yes. at once yeah, when you see it exactly. on your phone. Yeah. Also something that I've been, I didn't even think about before, but we were talking about this in a, in a different live stream. Um, is people on their phones like usually have their brightness like down? Yes. Which is like, what? I, yeah. I didn't even think about that because I usually have it all the way up. That's just oh, me though. yeah, I do too, yeah. But, <laughs> and you then know? your battery is dead. In, yeah, like, yeah, exactly. An hour. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <same>. <laughs> Problems. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, it, and I just didn't even think about that, but people don't usually have their brightness all the way up. So of course, like yeah. sometimes things look darker or like. Yeah, you know. and sometimes, yeah, I guess that's another case of like screen, yeah. the color calibration too. Right, but, right. Um, yeah, and then a good thing to do about that is if you are gonna make it just live on Instagram, you can mm -hmm. throw a um, brightness contrast all over the top of it when you're done and just kind of like up the contrast a tiny bit, maybe even the brightness, mm -hmm. just to like combat that. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Let's see. Um, Fatima is asking, how did you erase the shape area from outside the cup edges? Oh, around in here? I think so. Maybe. Yeah, um, that is, a layer mask, where is it? Down here. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's just all that. Yeah, yeah. We'll have this um, live stream available for replay as well. So you can definitely rewatch it and see how she took out the, um, the background. Yeah. At the end of this. So make sure to watch the whole thing because yeah. yeah, super cool. Thank you for plugging in um, her Instagram, Tim. Oh, thank you. It's awesome. I'm trying to see what else did I do here mm -hmm. on this guy. Oh yeah, mm. it's so pretty. Oh, thank you. I think it is here in the tights is the main issue. And what would you say, like, who who's kind of like your inspiration as far as, you know, when you got started and over time? Oh, I don't, that's hard. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know on the digital level. Mm -hmm. I've always been interested in, um, like, surrealist mm -hmm. art, like, going yeah. a little back further, like, um, McGree mm -hmm. and just like kind of crazy and like Dadaism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Which is it definitely has like a lot of the same elements. I'm sure if they had Photoshop back then, it yeah, might look a little <laughs> yeah similar. For sure. <laughs> uh, I saw um, McGree and at the MoMA at the museum. Ooh. Um, yeah, super fun. Yeah. Surrealist, like surrealist paintings and surrealism in general is like so fascinating. Yeah. Yes. Because there's a lot of like warping too, and like in the it images is. that like yeah. is, you know, sometimes it makes you, work you out. feel something yeah. cool. <laughs> for sure. Oh, Taylor says thank you so much for showing up all of this, Lizzie. You're such a badass. <laughs> oh, thank you, Taylor. <laughs> so nice. Enjoying it. I'm trying to fix this little pixelation around here with the color. Mm -hmm. Just a bit, and I. It'll help if we bring down the lightness. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Super fun. Just about two minutes, so make sure that you submit your challenges because um, we'll be reviewing those over in Discord in just a second. I'm gonna mask that back in with like a little Mm -hmm. Yeah, low opacity brush. <laughs> David says, woo, what a wonderful and colorful Instagram feed. Love it, Lizzie. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Stanley is asking, how long have you used Photoshop? Probably, let's see, graduated in 2015. <laughs> um, so probably about six or seven years now, I guess. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's a long time. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> Definitely before CC <laughs> mm -hmm. is how I can remember it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by, Fatima. Um, yeah, definitely watch the whole thing later because she went over a lot of different techniques um, from background, oh, um, you know, to making little latte art and putting it in <laughs> these teacups, <laughs> uh, compositing and all that jazz. So <laughs> fun at times. Gonna clean up these cups a mm -hmm. little bit more. Oh yeah. Probably. Yeah, these are little, I got them off Etsy. They're little vintage yeah, espresso cute. cups. Yeah, so they're a little like they're a little not wonky. The best cheap. Yeah, but they have character. <laughs> but hey, yeah, that's that's exactly character. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use the cologne stamp again for these. Since Fun. there is so much variation. A little in color. dust and little things. Specs. Yeah. For sure. Sharpen this up a bit too. Mm -hmm. Cute. I love that they kind of look like the diner style, like, you know, checkered. Yeah. <laughs> I had the tights first, and I thought they would be cute for this. Mm -hmm. And then I really wanted the cups to, like, kind of go, along, go with with that. along with it. Yeah, yeah there's a lot really of, like, kind of little squares and, like, and. Yeah. You know, kind of little cutouts, even with the shoes too, like your heels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like to do a lot of that kind of like shape repetition 
Yeah. Um, yeah, it helps if you, I think, like not necessarily have an obvious theme of the work, but if you have like little like fun, it's kind of like an I spy, like, oh, that's a like, yeah. grid there. There's yeah. a grid over there too. Yeah, it's there like, we go. That's the word grid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, we are going to head over to Discord now to review some of those challenges. Um, we'll get back into editing in a little bit, but let's take a look at um, your you know, challenges. So yeah, today's uh, challenge was to design a space badge um, using bevel and emboss. Thank you to Voodoo Bell for giving us that challenge. Um, so here's our first one. This is Ceci. I opted for a gold cord, uh, corgi. Is it corgi or corgi? Corgi, huh? Corgi, corgi. yeah, corgi. I think so. Yeah, a little corgi badge. <laughs> corgi badge for my spacesuit. How cute is that's this? That's really cute. Oh my god, that's adorable. That's fun. Love it. And I can see that you use that, the beveling and embossing. Yeah, the little edge. highlights mm -hmm. look good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Super fun. And I love that it's gold too. Yeah. I think yeah. that's so cute. I wonder how you got the shape of the cork, like the corgi. I don't know. Yeah, it's like minimalist enough, but it's like you still you can, you can look at it and that's yeah. a corgi, clearly. Yeah, it's yeah, cute. Yeah. <laughs> Super cute. I like All right. that. Good job. All right. And then here is Simona. She's got her little purple badge. Very fun. I can see the gradient in the color. Yeah. Let's see. The beveling and embossing. I mean, I don't use beveling and embossing that much, so like, I don't know that I. But it's I like kind of. It just like makes things look a little bit more like like it's got like um, the three dimensional. The three dimensional yeah. like, characteristics of it. Yeah. So. It is. Yeah. That one's very space like. Yeah, it's very it's space like. like. The purple is very atomic, space like. Like fifties. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Super um, cool. And I think this is the original like shape or asset that Voodoo Bell gave to everybody. So. Oh, gotcha. Um, yeah, so we'll probably be seeing a couple of these cool. similar um, ones, but great job, Simona. I think yeah. it's, the purple's really cool. I'd be curious to see you flesh it out even a little more and add other yeah. things inside or text or, you know, yeah. other fun things. <laughs> Super cute. Cute. Okay, here is from Snow Period E. Challenge number two, bevel and emboss. Ooh. Oh, this is definitely this yeah, complex. super cool and yeah. complex. Yeah. Like the texture too. Mm hmm I know, even like the back texture. I don't know what this is. It's like um like It's a, like that like really strong, like not rope like material, the, but like Oh yeah, it's just yeah. Like, what is it? I don't even know. I'm like feeling it in my I know, head. I it's so like rough. It's like rough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> but I love it. This is super yeah, fun. That's cool. I don't know what this kind of like symbol is exactly but it gives me like like game of thrones like vibes. game of thrones vibes. Yeah. yeah that's what i was thinking yeah. <laughs> but very cool. cool and i love that um the shape is kind of a little more wide too it's like it's fun playing around mm -hmm. uh, but yeah we definitely see the bevel and emboss here really well i'm gonna zoom in real quick here and here and i like mm -hmm. that there's different textures all throughout oh, yeah, too you're right there's like in here and then kind of the whole badge. So very cool. Super cool. And I like that these little like, little shiny bits right here kind of help with that. Yeah. It makes it look the really dimension. like dimensional. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Like it. Thank you, Snow E. Um, so this is my particip participation on day one challenge. Um, how to create a shadow instead of select and layer stuff correctly. I hope it counts anyway. So we'll just take a look at it. See ver goat. Okay. And I don't actually rem know what the challenge was from yesterday, but I mean, this looks really fun. I think it's the shadow to create a shadow. Oh, But that looks oh, okay. really good yeah, for no, like looks... where the light source is coming from. Yeah. If the light is coming Super from up important. here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like this is kind of like the things that you think about, like, I'm sure for your work too, yeah. where you're like, okay, well, where's the light source? Yeah. How does that shadow need to be, you know? Super cool. Very fun. Yeah. I like it. Okay. Great job. And then, so John B, just learning Photoshop. This is also first time participating in a daily, uh, daily oh, challenge. Oh, so welcome. Cute. Welcome. Okay, cool. super fun. This looks like an alien or something. I don't know. It's yeah. kind of scary. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I'm a little, a little scared. Eye. Yeah, it's like <laughs> a cyborg. It's very cool though. Yeah, and these like little stars. I wonder if they like illustrated them themselves or oh, like yeah. what. But and super like fun, grungy texture. Oh, yeah, I get like super this grungy. grungy vibe. So yeah, like if that. if you're trying to make 
me feel scared. I feel that. For sure. <laughs> job well done. <laughs> but great job. I mean, you know, for a first time, you, you know, learning or learning Photoshop and just, um, you know, submitting to the daily challenges. Yeah. Great job. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, the Game of Thrones thing was a Celtic symbol. Oh, okay. That makes that makes, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah. I see that mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool, John B. I hope you that hope that you continue um, submitting to the challenges because I'm curious to see how you're, you know, how you develop over time. Yeah. It's a Thank fun you, journey. John B. Yeah, it is a fun journey, <laughs> and well, you only get better by doing it more and more. So yes. <laughs> for sure. Hi, Eric Sue. Thanks for joining. Um, this is from Bromeo, and this is he said reworked with some gold in the lettering. So he might have submitted before and added more stuff recently. Mm, but okay, ooh, cool. this is so oh. cool! Oh my God, he added Voodoo Val on the oh, badge. Oh, an honorary badge. Honorary That's badge. Awesome. That is so cute. <laughs> I love it, and I love this like texture yeah. back here. Although, I don't know, what's that thing called? Um, where you're scared of like um, holes? Oh, uh, tryptophobia. Tryptophobia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you're, <laughs> yeah, if you're one of those, I feel, you yeah. know, don't look at it. <laughs> yeah. Don't look, like, don't look at it for too long. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, yes. so many things. <laughs> but this is super cute. I can definitely see the beveling and embossing for sure. And all the textures are really fun. It's, yeah. It looks good. good mix. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very fun. Yeah. Voodoo Val give, always gives fun challenges. Yeah. Okay. So this one's from Auntie Foo Foo. Um, I mean, I don't know if this is a space badge, but it, I mean, it's space. It's, yeah, it's definitely space. Yeah, it's definitely spacey. Yeah. Yeah. Does sure. it have a texture or I am I seeing? It does. No, it does. Oh, yeah, the little line texture. It almost actually kind of looks like a patch. <laughs> Oh, yeah, me. like it was woven. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. That's cool. I guess that, that is a form of badge. Yeah, it's a form of badge. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. It, maybe it's just a patch yeah. version. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks cool. Very fun. And I like that you use like a gradient on kind of like the planet or and then on this like little ring too. Yeah. From purple to blue. So that's super cool. Yeah. Great job. Um, all right. Next is up is... Naze, hopefully I said that right. Here is my badge. Fun. Like it. I like it. Stainless Fun little, steel. Yeah, stainless yeah, steel. It classic. Has a little, like etching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. Almost like kind of it went through a little something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's been worn. It's, it's been worn, worn a little. <laughs> it's a worn Loved. badge. But love it. Cool. Definitely see what you did the technique here as well. And it helps define it. it this these like little light things right here. Yeah. I don't know how to describe it, but I mean, I guess it's bubbly. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Super fun. Cool. Yeah. Is that beveling embossing like you can like change the width, I'm assuming? Cuz some I think of them you look can cuz some wider. of them yeah, or maybe like, yeah, or maybe yeah. like it depends on what you're selecting, right? Mm. Like what maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't played around with it too much, yeah, but maybe I'll have to check the the challenge so I can learn too. Yeah. Thank you, Nazi. Okay, and this one's um, from Ibo Look. Here's my primitive badge. <laughs> Whoa, this cool. is fun. Looks like it's from like a, I don't know. I don't like know what the texture is called. It's arrowhead. like arrowhead. Like, yeah. You know, it's like a fossil uh -huh. that you dug yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> cool. It almost looks like that material that like, I don't know if you've ever seen that, but it's supposed to be like this can of, of like a material that you can spray on any object and then it like, it basically becomes un undestructible. I don't know if you've ever heard of that. Yeah, Magic? and you like, what is this? I don't know, but then you like literally try to hit it or destroy it and it literally won't break. It's like so weird, but it looks like that that's material. Cool. That, that's really cool. I feel like that's helpful for a badge, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Right, you don't yeah. want to, you know, get destroyed. What's the L for? I, I don't is know. It? Maybe it's their name or something like oh, that, okay. but super fun, yeah. Okay. I cool. like it. Fun little beveling yeah. here. I wonder, like, I'm curious to know what the difference between is beveling and embossing. Like, what, like, if embossing. I think embossing is coming out, right? Because it's opposite of engraving. Ye oh, I want to okay, say yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. I'm wrong. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then beveling is like, I think the edges. Okay. I think. Yeah. That kind of sounds right. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like it's like you're making a gemstone. Mm, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I makes think. sense. Cool. If you let us know in the chat. Yeah, let us know what it is. <laughs> we 
we have obviously not played with both. Yeah. Boxing, so. <laughs> we have been exposed. Let us know. <laughs> Thank you. I have look. Um, okay. And then here is EMX. This is the layers and selections um, daily creative challenge from one. Ooh, super fun. Very cool. spacey. I like that this is all kind of like space themed, all these yeah, like, challenges. Yeah, I know. Oh, this is so cute. This is cute. <laughs> <laughs> so fun. I love it. I wonder if that's like their kid. I know. Yeah, that's That'd pretty be cute. so cute. Yeah. <laughs> um, love how you distorted this like planet. Like it looks super cool. Looks like, actually, you know what it looks like? Um, what is it? St uh, Starry Night? Oh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's got I can all those like, little yeah, swirlies the and colors. stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's cool. Super fun. Like that. Um, I definitely maybe play around with like adding light on her as in like to kind of show like she's closer she's closer to something or maybe further yeah. away or like you know backlighting or something like, yeah maybe that'd even be kind of fun. i guess the planet is a little blurred maybe a little blurrier just a little to, blurrier yeah, to show the depth her. yeah for yeah. sure but otherwise great job and fun really fun colors yeah it's a fun composition mm -hmm. and i like that there's like motion blur here where like you know it's kind of like, like she's moving yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very cute. Okay, and then we've got, okay, Valentine Pierce. Thank you for submitting Space, The Final Frontier, images from NASA. Ooh, mm, okay. okay. Very I feel like fun. it's like a movie poster. I know. Like, it's cool. You took what well, was supposed to be a space badge and made it into a movie poster. Yeah. Super fun. <laughs> I like it. It almost looks like it's kind of like a little really cool rocket or something like I yeah don't know. <laughs> it's like yeah like glass or something mm -hmm. it's cool yeah definitely interesting and i like that this texture kind of goes into the, the edges as well oh yeah mm -hmm. it kind of mimics like the rings in the background too mm -hmm. those curves it's cool yeah for sure great job valentine Oh, emboss presses image in, deboss is raised up, bevel is angling the edges. Oh, okay, that okay. makes sense. Yeah. Mm. Okay, cool. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, so maybe like this is probably like beveling because it's angling the edges. Yeah. But also embossing because you're bringing it up, right? Yeah, so the letters too, the letters are... And oh, thoughts. that's right. Yeah, the yeah, letters yeah. too. Oh my god. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, this is a lot of the challenge going on. Yeah, for sure. Cool. So there's the embossing. Or sorry, no, beveling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> beveling, and then this is the embossing. Yeah. Very fun. Cool. Yeah, I think that helps tie it all in. It kind of looks like it's part of, like, it's supposed to be together like that. Yeah, yeah. Super fun. For sure. Okay, thank you for submitting, Valentine. This is from Bromeo, some blending with text and shapes. Another honorary badge. Be cute, be cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, be cute. Mm -hmm. v, v for cute. Val, v for, too. V for Val. <laughs> cute. Oh, K. Cervantes says, or maybe I have the M and D boss backward, but it's one or the other. Oh. Yeah, see? <laughs> it's all the same It's all me. the same. <laughs> you know, you're just raising it up. Something's yeah. happening. Making it look dimensional. <laughs> Well, this is super fun. I like the colors and yeah. the light on the other text. Yeah, it's fun. a fun font. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, super fun. A lot of really great submissions, you guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, this one's uh, Astria, my badge. I added a drop shadow as well, so it looks like a metal pin. Oh, oh okay. That's kind of fun. So we have a patch. Yeah, we got a patch. Now. We have a metal pin. Yes. We have some stone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cool. Love it. And she's, yeah, she's got a little drop shadow. Yeah, cool. that's cool. So it's almost like if it were being stood up by yeah. like, the back oh, pin yeah, or something. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Very nice. We love pins. Pins are fun. <laughs> You used to you used to do pins, right? I did. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So fun. Oh my gosh. That pins. was a huge boom for a while. Yeah. 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 Pins like yeah. exploded. Do you still do pins? No. <laughs> You're like no. I, yeah. It's just a lot of like shipping it's a lot of work. and things. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Crazy. <laughs> but I would buy that pin. That's cool. Yeah. Great job, Astria. This is awesome. Okay. And then Voodoo Bell. We're back to her challenge, and this was kind of her original. Oh, that's where so it started. That's where it started, and she had all those like little textures and stuff. Oh, okay. So. Love it. Cool. Voodoo Bell. Yours is great too. Yes, I <laughs> love that one. Awesome. Cool. Well, let's see. I think. I mean, there's definitely some more space images here that we can take a look at as well. Yeah. Ooh. 
okay. This is fun. It's fun. I hope that astronaut is like tied to something. Oh my god, She's I know. Like, She's kind of floating, floating out there. Like, <laughs> What's all that up? movie where like, um, it's one of those like Matt Damon or uh, like Anne Hathaway, Christ one of them. Yes, yes, <laughs> There yes, were yes. so many yes, that he so like many. quotes away. Oh my god, that was so sad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is super cool. But yeah, this, this is cool. Yeah, and I like that it's like, there's perspective because this is very sharp and in focus, like closer. Yeah. And then this one's kind of like more out in the distance. Yeah, and I like if you can see like the little edge of the planet at the mm -hmm. bottom, like you're not mm -hmm. totally, like it gives you some kind of Sense grounding. Sense of space. Yeah, oh, I see what you did. So much <laughs> <laughs> like that. Love it, love it. <laughs> All right, and then let's see. Oh, this is Casandita. Ooh, okay. Very cool. This is fun. So it kind of seemed like the, the challenge was to use layer masking and like have people mm. in a space scene or something like that. Okay. So, very fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like yeah. how she kind of color corrected herself. Yeah. Or whoever, yeah. Yeah, I'm assuming it's her, but yeah, mm -hmm. to match the colors, it's mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. Super fun. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm also curious about this like darker edge over here. I wonder if that oh, yeah, should also that. be on the moon too, maybe, or like mm, probably you know, a to little like bit. match a little. Yeah, but like a little bit smaller. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. Thank you, Casandita. Okay, and I think that's. Oh, actually, I think that's my, that might be Voodoo Bell, because <laughs> I see oh. more people <laughs> using her image. Oh. <laughs> Cool. All right. Cool. Well, I think that's good enough for today. Thank you to everyone who submitted to the challenges. Um, you guys are awesome. Um, yeah, make sure to stick around because tomorrow we'll have another challenge as well. Um, and we'll be reviewing those as well tomorrow. Yay, so, I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. See you Andreas, yeah, what a cool challenge you got going on here. It is We've always got really fun one. challenges. So definitely a great way to learn and just get familiarize yourself with the programs and um, yeah, yeah, it's super fun. <laughs> awesome. So we'll just get back into what we were working on. Yeah. yeah. So what I realized <laughs> was... <laughs> Tim's like, that's Val's stunt double in the photos. <laughs> oh, Tim's got jokes. Tim's got jokes. Good. I love it. <laughs> so from looking at the one I edited earlier, I realized I forgot to throw a shadow on the background. Since I masked out the actual shadow, mm -hmm. I'm gonna add one back oh, in and there. Got it, got yeah. it. Yeah. To make it even a little more believable. Yeah, so there's like a Makes couple sense. ways we could do that. And I'm gonna bring this down a little so we can okay. see it clearer. Oh my God, I just thought of another pun. <gasps> oh, tell me. Tim is brewing <laughs> with jokes. Oh, Tim thought of one. Oh. <laughs> oh no, I mean, I did. <laughs> oh, everyone's got puns. Everyone's got puns. <laughs> Love it. What's here? We're still in the co in the theme of coffee, so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys have any last minute questions, make sure to ask them now in the chat. Yeah. Um, we have about ten minutes left, so. Yeah. Anything about process, editing. Um, anything. Oh, yeah. anything you want to see tomorrow. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. For sure. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly throw the shadow on. I disabled the mask mm -hmm. for a second, have a new layer. Okay. Um, gonna pull in this color. I drop that, make it a little darker. A little darker. Yeah, so Smart. on a new layer, I'm gonna mm -hmm. draw like on top of the shadow that is there, mm -hmm. just so we get those same lines. Yeah. Do a little soft edge. <laughs> Tim says, coming up with new puns is hard. I usually end up pro caffeinating instead. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it feels so good. It's so great. I love it. <laughs> yeah, this is looking wild because I have <laughs> that um, hue saturation layer on yeah, a little bit. Yeah, for out. sure. <laughs> And what's great about having all these like layer masks too is that like you you can just do what you just did where you just move the wherever and like yeah. you, it only affects the where you want it to, you know? Yeah, all about layer masks and all about clipping masks. Mm -hmm. So multiply. Did you always do layer masks and clipping masks? Or was there a period of time where you did? 
I think there was probably a period of time <laughs> where I would draw directly, like, on the layer mm -hmm. or something, but... Um, you learned. Yeah. <laughs> That was back when, too, like, when you couldn't go past a certain number of undos. Oh, my God, You only had, like, yes. 20 or something. Yes. So, yeah, I, I very quickly was, was like, I need non-destructive edits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Makes so much sense. <laughs> so here's my shadow. I blended it and multiply about, like, 28%. And then... <laughs> David is saying, if I use the clone tool, can I be as funny as Tim? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, Tim. Like, Two Tims, deja vu. This I is can't. too this much. Is too <laughs> I love it. That's really good. Thank you, Tim, for providing, for brewing up all these uh, oh, puns. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> we're, just, we're just on a roll here. <laughs> love it. That's too funny. I know. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. Just kind yeah, of makes it look up. like it's Yeah, a little bit of a and then I'm gonna throw a noise onto here as well. Just like we did with the foam. Mm-hmm. Just add a little and bit then, of texture. Yeah, and then I like to just go back and forth and reference the original mm -hmm. picture. So you can tell, like, a lot of times with strobe lights, this area will be brighter, and then there's some shadow right. along the edge here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add a little bit of that back in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lindsay, I've missed a lot. I had to get back to the daily grind. Oh, well, don't worry, because we will we have will. this live stream yeah. available for replay. Um, Behance.net slash live. So can just rewatch it as many times as you want yeah. and learn all these fun little tips and techniques. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, and we'll be back tomorrow too for more, so don't worry. Yes. You haven't missed anything. Perhaps. Oh, that is what I, yeah. What do you guys want to see tomorrow? Yeah. Cause I have a few Let us know. options. What are you guys most interested in seeing for tomorrow's stream? Let yeah. us know in the chat. I was thinking of doing, I have a different photo that would be more skin retouching, if Ooh, you guys are interested yeah. in that. Yeah, maybe even yeah. one where you're in it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to see, because <laughs> a little yeah. bit, we'll show you my raw photos, so we'll, we'll pick a good one, but okay. yeah. <laughs> that, and I was thinking maybe, um, this had a lot of texture, I was thinking some softer textures, maybe like masking with mm. soft, fuzzy textures, because yeah, those can be smart. tricky. That is tricky. Yeah. Maybe even like changing colors of certain things. Yes, or, yeah. You know, that's yeah. always tricky, for, for sure. sure. Mm -hmm. Love it. Oh, <laughs> Lindsay said it was a pun, apparently a bad one. Oh no, I get it now. <laughs> oh, the Daily Girl. Oh my God, I'm telling <laughs> Yeah, I know. I was oh, no. like, oh, she's busy girl. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I even know. think about it from that perspective. <laughs> Wait, that was good. No, Lindsay, that, that was, was great. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you know, that. a little delayed laugh, but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes so those are the best puns that like have to be explained to you because yeah. they're like on another uh, level. They're on another yeah. level. You're like, on another wait. level, Lindsay. Yeah. <laughs> we, you're too good. You're just too good that we didn't too get good. it. <laughs> Love that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I'm gonna do another color range. For the for heels, the for the shoes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are picking up the background, so we'll do a clipping mask. Oops. And clipping masks mask are just for um, kind of affecting a certain thing only? Right, or a yeah. Certain layer only? So in this case, yeah, I have a couple layers within the folder, mm -hmm. but the clipping mask is going to affect everything that's just in the folder, mm -hmm. so it mm -hmm. won't touch my background. Got it. That's so smart. Yeah. So, <laughs> Lindsay says, I'm running out of fuel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm just lightening up. Is this <laughs> Tim's like, I don't even drink coffee. <laughs> Neither does Lindsay. I don't either. I had a nice chai this morning. These are twins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so bitter. I know that's like, obviously, like coffee. Yeah, it's like I actually don't taste. drink coffee, like, but like, 
you know, plain, dark. I have yeah. to have it as a latte. I cannot. Yeah, it, yeah. Yeah, it's too bitter. It's like I need, it I need it to be sweet and sugary. Yeah. And, I know? need some, like, Starbucks, like, syrups <laughs> in there. Yeah. Like, the unicorn frappe or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I just lightened that up a little bit with hue and saturation just to mm -hmm. distinguish it a little bit from the background. I like okay. to work in a lot of like similar color schemes, mm -hmm. like limit the palettes. Yeah. But it helps to keep it to, simple. Yeah, to have like a darker version and a lighter version. Yeah, yeah for sure. Help that pop out. Cool. Well, yeah. we just are about to wrap up um, the first day of the two day live stream yeah. with Lizzie Darden. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we'll be back tomorrow at 9 30 um, for some more fun editing techniques and yes. tips. So, yeah, stick around because we'll have the XD Daily Creative Challenge after this and then the XD stream at noon. So, thank you guys so much. We will see you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks, guys. <laughs>